Hello, hello. Who hopped in with us? It's six o'clock and we're gonna be painting, painting, planting some pineapples, y'all. So I got it getting everything together. I'm trying to see. Let me grab me a towel. Hold on. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I got my comments where I can see them. Oh, let me turn the volume down so we don't have an echo. Ooh, okay, let me get my soil. Trying to see. Hey, stay, stay. Hey, G Mama. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming in. Um, I'm trying to see how I'm gonna situate y'all. I might have to log in on my phone too. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna log in on the phone so y'all can actually see what I'm doing. Because the way I have my computer set up, y'all not going to be able to see that. Or maybe so. Let's try it that way. Let's try it that way. All right, y'all. Had y'all come in. If y'all will hit the like button for me. We're not going to be able to see me and the plants, I guess. So let's see. Uh, I don't know. So how y'all doing today? How you doing, G-Mama? How you doing, Stay Stace? How y'all doing? And if anybody in the bushes. I see we have three people in here. If you in the bushes, don't be afraid to say hey. You didn't go hurt. But if you want to stay in the bushes, stay in the bushes. I think I have an idea who was in the bushes, though. I ain't going to call them out, though. So I'm going to grab my... Y'all, I was out shopping. I was out thrifting, and this is what I found. So here in Houston, we got the outlet um, thrift. Uh, oh, if you, I removed the banner. Let me remove the banner. So here in Houston, we got the outlet thrift stores. There we go. And I paid probably a couple of cents for this. 
and you just charge it. You just plug it in with the um, USB cord and charge it. What I was looking for. A... Can't even think of the name of it. Oh, well, moving right along. Can Okay, can we see now? Well, kind of. Let me see. There we go. So this is my two pineapples right here and i purchased these from the store and all i did was and that is you if you guys can see this one has a pup so this was the original pineapple the one that's dried out and it started growing a baby a pup so and that's the root system so what i did was i pulled off that much of the um the leaves or whatever you want to call it and i just set it in some water and it started growing so that's the first one and this is the other one this one is pretty big and that's all i did y'all i just set it in the water and actually forgot about it until i saw the other day um Thank you, G Mama. Until I saw the other day, I was like, you know what? Let's go live and plant these pineapples. I'm trying to look for a shovel so I don't look so ratchet digging in the dirt with my hands. Let me see if I got one over there, y'all. Hold on. I do not. So you have one growing for a, over a year, and you need to start. Oh, cool! Did you plant it in the um in the soil, or you just had it in the water? Stay, stay. So, and when I was doing my research, it said that um, pineapples usually take about two years for you to have an actual pineapple so i figured let's try it and see okay how long has it been has it been a year You just put it outside. Okay. Well, we can grow together. So I'm just moving the soil out the way. All I have in here, y'all, is some topsoil and some peat moss. I didn't put any um perlite in here because I ain't have none. The leaves are huge. Mmm. That's a good thing. So maybe next summer you'll get some pineapples. Are you gonna bring it inside um in the garage or in the greenhouse for the winter? So y'all, I don't know if I should break this one off or just leave it like that. I don't know what to do. What y'all think I should do? I'm just gonna plant this one first. You started your pineapple straight in the soil and it's only been a couple of months. So G Mama, what you think I should do? Do you think I should pull the puff off of this one or leave it on there and just plant it like that? I'm scared, <laughs> I'm scared. I don't wanna kill it. So when you say straight in the soil, you just took it um, you plant the whole thing? Yeah. 
I've seen lizards and a roach on it. Out. <laughs> I'm yo. Disclaimer: I am really, really afraid of cockroaches. Really afraid. Yeah, I'll I'll kill them because somebody got to go, and I live here. I pay bills here, so somebody got to go. But I'm really afraid of, and especially the flying ones. Oh my lord! Yeah, somebody got to go. Um, but yeah, if it's outside, yeah, he they yeah they would stay outside. Deathly Tur girl, me too, me. Two, me too. So, this is the first one, and I'm gonna keep this water and I'm just water it in with this good water it's been sitting in. Yo, I changed the time today to six o'clock, and I'm just gonna sit it in there just like that. I'm not gonna press down hard, I'm just and I'm just gonna put the dirt, the soil on top of it. Nope. Come this way. That way my name won't be in the way. Um what was I saying, y'all? I don't even remember. Um Shoot, I don't forget. Man, I can remember growing up, we had an oak tree. Actually, we had one on the side of the house, and we had two in the yard. I, I, we had a pretty big yard. My daddy used to have um, a garden, and I mean a, a big garden. My yard don't have nothing on what he had. And... um. They had an oak tree. They had actually three. So we had three. And when I tell you, I was so terrified. We had upstairs, um, downstairs. I would go in my room and I would literally, as soon as I turn the light on, I would scan the whole room to see if they had a roach on the walls. Because the oak trees attract the doggone cockroaches. When I tell y'all, nine times out of ten, I had a damn roach in my room. And eight out of nine, I would turn that light back off and go back downstairs. <laughs> I didn't want to fool with that. We, we were saying, keep that piece. Oh, this? Okay, I didn't pull it off. It's still on there. Yeah, I ain't take nothing off. So I'm just pressing it down, making sure that the soil is meeting the roots. Um, yeah, me and mm -mm. and and now I'm grown and have a house of my own. And what do you know? A big dog on oak tree in the front. So guess what? Every now and then, y'all fan y'all friends come visit. All right, so I pour that water in there. I'm gonna have to press down just a little bit more because it looks like I see some roots. Or maybe it's just some grass all right so that is our first one if y'all have it click that like button y'all could y'all click that like button for me i sure will appreciate you and share me out share the video out please 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 thank you thank you thank you all right so that is the first Pineapple, y'all. Look how cute. Yes, yes. Cheese. With the trash can in the background. I'm not advertising best trash. Let's move that. I 
All right, let me see if I can get another one. It's still in the background, huh? Whatever. <laughs> All right, so that's the first pineapple. All right, so let's move this one out the way. And here comes this one with the little puff. All right. So this one has a pretty long, these roots are pretty long. So just going to hold on to them and move them over. Hold on to them and just press the soil around. All right, so I think I got him in enough. I don't want to break nothing. So that's thing one and thing two, y'all. Pineapple number one and pineapple number two. And I'm going to take that water that it was growing in and just water around it. The um, soil is already wet. I made sure it was good and wet before I um, put everything in here, but I didn't want to throw that good water away, so it's in there. So, so that's thing number two. All right, y'all. So, pretty much that is it. Let's see the comments so we have we in stream yard okay so once the pup gets more leaves you may be able to remove the mom yeah <clears throat> i'm just gonna leave it like that until i maybe Maybe one day I might build up enough confidence to uh, to grow. I mean, to uh, remove the mom. But for right now, it's gonna stay right there. So, what do y'all have growing in y'all y'all right now? Right now, everything is dying, y'all. Um, my hibiscus is still growing. I have a couple of bell peppers that's growing they small but they're not really producing anything i have an eggplant that is coming back it was the aphids had took over um and i've been fighting with the aphids so looks like i won the battle because it's starting to get leaves on it again but i mean um my moringa is huge the two the seeds that uh gt um junior sent me i planted them and those two trees are huge my lemon tree still thriving i have no lemons on it because this heat been um taking it away the cherry tree still going <laughs> um my strawberries are almost non-existent I'm waiting to harvest your ashwagandha what is that I've never heard of that. Am I saying that right? Ashwagandha? Um, yeah. If y'all see behind me, the hay is still hay. Just the one pineapple, lemon balm. It doesn't look good, though. Yeah, I, I didn't grow lemon balm this year. I did grow dill. The heat took that. I did transplant this week, this past week. Let me grab it for y'all. It's right here. 
I, I transplanted some lettuce and so this is lettuce in the middle and um uh on the two ends right here is sweet basil but y'all can't see it because it's too low so on this end and this end is lettuce i mean the lemon the sweet basil and these three right here are lettuce and what i did was i have it sitting on my table in the yard but i have um i think this is 70 percent shade cloth and i see now that i'm gonna have to put that all over the yard because that's what's keeping those alive you about to start lettuce in your arrow dome er girl arrow dome arrow garden maybe some peppers relaxing it's the roots of the plants that's harvested so the ashwaga ashwaga it's the roots of the plants i have never heard of that y'all yeah that's because this shade cloth i got this shade cloth off of oh i'm getting bit ants attacking me off of sheen sheen no not sheen what's the other one not wish timu i got this shade cloth off of timu i think it was like six dollars it was pretty long so i cut it and i have the other if y'all can see right there above the trash can that's the other piece that i cut i have straw um strawberries that's struggling over there so you said it right the first time ash waganda okay ash waganda i drink ash waganda tea so good with lemon now nah. y'all want y'all have me want some ashwagandha i want some ashwagandha tea i'm about to try to, to figure out how to harvest this moringa so i can fix me some sweet tea with some of my hibiscus plants that i have um and some of this moringa this moringa is growing out of control y'all let me see if I can turn y'all around so y'all can see. So, um, right. Yeah. Take the glove off. Hold on. So, in the the Lowe's bucket right there, that tall one right there. Y'all can't see my finger. Duh. Uh, go back. Uh-uh. Me and the computer ain't um right there. They right there. Um, so the moringa they growing like wildflowers. Um, the blueberries look like they're about to go to seed without no seeds. So, what else is over there? Nothing else my angel trumpet is suffering big time and that's pretty much it that i have i have some okra that's really not producing nothing and everything else then die back um even my mint i don't even i don't know what's going on with the mint it'll grow and then it'll stop growing and it'll grow like crazy and then it'll stop growing but I do have some squash that I um some squash and some zucchini plants that I just planted out here. They starting to, to thrive, but they kind of in the shaded section. That moringa is yeah. I just transplanted um one of them. One of them I transplanted like about two months ago, and the other one I just transplanted that one. The it had uh, rooted. The, the pot I had it in was about this big. I was like, oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. 
um, it had rooted in the ground. So it had literally grew out of the pot and was in the ground. Your mint and oregano are acting up. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the mint. So let me just take y'all over there. So y'all, y'all on my computer. So I'm gonna have to turn y'all around, kind of throw it off ish. So, um, let's see. So this is the mint right here, and this used to be full of mint, y'all. And all I do is put water in there, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Can mint get root bound? These are my two eggplant that I just um, planted those in there like last week. This one, my mustard greens. This is that eggplant that I told y'all that was struggling with the aphids. Now it's starting to grow back. This is my friend that we just planted last week. The pecan tree, he doing good, he doing good. He told me to tell y'all, hey, thanks for coming out and checking him out. Um, this is the hibiscus right here. Won't have no flowers on it, but still growing. And these are the, um, what is this? Let me see, let me see. Zucchini. So, and I'm sorry, y'all. That's the zucchini plants um, right there. Those two are um, bell pepper plants that they're growing, but they're not producing nothing. So, yeah, and that's the rest of everything. And we are watering. So, y'all, that is it for today. Thank y'all for coming out. I see we have five people. Yes, the, don't the hibiscus look good? And I have one in the front of the house, too. That one is actually, the one in the uh, front is like, it's a tropical one. And the stems are like interwoven, like braided together. And I think it's called the tropical hibiscus or something like that. And it produces different colors. So that one has been showing off all summer. But it's also in the shaded area, too. Um... But yeah, y'all. Thank you for coming out, G Mom. I'm about to get off too. We almost had 30 minutes. Thank y'all for the support. And I will come back next Sunday. I just have to see what we'll be planting next Sunday, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Um, we have five people, but nobody else has said anything don't be afraid y'all can say hi all right all right stay stace thank you for joining me um it's hot let me turn this off so i feel like i'm screaming trying to talk over this i don't know if y'all can hear that but um i feel like i'm talking really loud all right so I'm gonna go inside, take my book. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to tell y'all. So if you guys are thinking about growing a pineapple, when you go into the store, make sure you pick um, the ripest pineapple that you can. And it's the most, the one that's, that's um, really yellow. And that one is gonna give you the best results. All right, y'all, 5.30. Let me see if I can go inside with one hand. And until I see you guys in the next video, share me with your family and your friends. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.